you know when you order something at Wish and when you receive it it's a lot smaller than you thought it was according to the pictures? Well today I got the opposite experience. It was a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> Check it out. My Poyero is small according to this one. So yeah. So this is my new tracked mini dumper. Uh, we'll take it inside the shop and then we'll take a closer look at it. Check out this behemoth, it's enormous, <laughs> it's just so big. Uh, I didn't look at the size and stuff like that when I ordered it, I just looked at how much can it carry. And that's almost one and a half cubic meters and that was like perfect, that would make life so much easier. Didn't think about the size would go up a lot. So it weighs 2.4 tons. Uh, it can hold um, almost 1.5 cubic meters of dirt and it's a self-loader. That is the most greatest thing you can have on these tracked dumpers, mini dumpers. And the thing that it can turn its truck bed and tilt and tip on the side is also just perfect when you are filling back ditches and stuff like that. So it's almost new. It's slightly used. 134 hours and yeah it costs it. its faults here and there a bit of rust and yeah but we will go out and test it find a job for it and uh, yeah see how it performs got my tractor and trailer with me I just emptied it out with a load of gravel right there and now it's ready for being filled up with dirt I have a project back in here where I have done the drainage of a house. Now we need to connect the drainage pipe to the water line or the water line for surface water that is going through here is the plan. But the video is about the new tracked mini dumper. So this is the first test of it. So now we will try it out with emptying out everything from in here. So uh, yeah, that will be uh, interesting to see how that works. So then the Terex is fired up, ready to go. Just let it warm up a little bit. And what we're taking out is this over here and a little bit of this. And here you can see I have installed the drainage and everything. I haven't filmed anything here, but now I need to make the connection from here and all the way there. And for doing that, I need to remove all this excess dirt so I have more room. And uh, yeah, then we can test out the new tracked mini dumper that is not so many.
just awesome look at this <laughs> it's like six loads with this one and the container is full that is just awesome and it was nice to drive with the load in and it could climb up in the dumper bed without any gravel over there like we have on the little Hinova we need gravel to climb up this one went in no problem one more load there and uh, yeah that would be really great but I need to put the truck bed up again because there is coming a truck now with more gravel for me so I need to make room for it so we can tip it over there okay let's move this gravel over there where I want the rest of it so we have everything in one pile that's a nice test for the self-loader
There was a size difference on these two. So that is 10 cubic meters of gravel. And uh, this is, yeah, three maybe? Something like that, two and a half. So, all right, let's get the tractor in again. Alright, then we are back at it. Need to push everything forward a little bit, but hopefully the self-loader can do that. And gravel is in place, and let's just get the other loads out so we can start excavating.
Ah, this works really great. Really got a good fill in the container. Well, you know what the problem we didn't get everything filled up, and in the front we always had the low, so with this shouldn't be any problems. It's just about being able to lift everything. Uh, but for now, I think I will try and uh, get that, this big ass rock out of here. It's so big the turrets can't lift it, so I have to drag it out. And as you can see, it's pretty narrow. So let's try and see how that goes.
oh, that was a challenge. Now I'll just get one load of dirt and fill back behind it, so we will lock it in place, so it doesn't go anywhere when we lift up. But I need to charge the camera in the tractor while I'm doing that. But that's the same procedure as earlier, and this video is more about the dumper than... Okay, power back on the camera, got one load in the back here, so hopefully it will stay in place when while I'm lifting it up. If not, oh boy. No problem at all. Stayed in just perfect. So then we are ready for going to the dumping site and get rid of this and then we probably have one more load later. But I needed a four-wheel drive to back up so I could get everything in. tested it, I got it home again, I got some new stickers on it with my company, so people that sees it knows where it belongs and where they can rent it, and uh, as we can see down here, it has the little 3 cylinder Kubota engine, same stuff that are in my little Kubota excavator, awesome little thing, love that engine, works really great, this one is a bit more noisy then, but you can see there have been or it's probably are there have been some repairs to the exhaust back in there but else it works great it's a, a real joy to drive it's really nice it got the spring seat so you are not bumping around like in the other track mini dumper i have the blue one and uh, yeah it holds a lot so that's really nice it's quick to load itself it's a little bit slower than on the little hinova uh, using the self-loader but it's pretty okay and uh, you can see here so this is a valve so if the bucket is down it won't spin around you can see me in the start of the video testing it and it didn't work so that was the problem then and also um, yeah if you are moving it sideways while the bucket is down it cuts power for the bucket so it goes really slow and then you have to turn it back again and a little bit of stuff like that. So the, one, the way the control works is uh, this switch, you push it once and then you are operating the bucket and you push it once again and then you are operating the tip and sideways is turning the dump pad. So I would like it to be the other way around so maybe sideways was the bucket and then you had the tip like this and then you had to push to get the turn on the dump pad that would have been a little bit nicer but yeah in the beginning i was always touching this because it's just a little touch and then it's 
switching and when I was touching it then I switched from the loader to the tipping and yeah but you learn as you go so I haven't used it that much yet but it will be used a lot soon because there are a lot of drainage work as you can see I have in stock now a lot of pipe and stuff for the drainage so that will be really great and then this one will be really handy because we can bring the dirt out so much quicker and we can fill the, tra the tractor bed so much quicker so that's really nice so then this one is ready for work it's going out tomorrow it's rented out so that's great i i'm just finishing my one week vacation right now so uh was great with a little bit time off been at the ranch and uh yeah, now I'm just having this one in, checking the oils and everything, just making sure it's ready and uh, greasing it up a little bit and then taking it on the trailer. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. You will see a lot more of this one in the future, future videos.